Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 16th of 2022 well, it is titled Milky Way over French Alp hoodoos. So what do we see here? Well, here we see part of the French Alps and what we call of there are hoodoos, which occur when denser material it keeps the lower material below from eroding away. So we see this uh, often around the world that as things er erode, the less dense material, the easier to erode away material, it will disappear first, leaving behind the denser material. Now eventually that denser material will wear away. So it does erode just at a much slower rate than the less dense material. So it leaves things like this sticking up and projecting up for a time. Now, of course, up above it in the sky, we do see our Milky Way. And this is looking uh, towards the portion in the constellation of Cygnus, the swan. And we see a lot of nebulae and dark dust clouds. Now, these are part of our Milky Way galaxy. But of course, so are all of the other stars that we're looking at. In fact, when you look out at the night sky, every single thing you see with very few exceptions is part of our Milky Way. Uh, there are a couple things such as the Andromeda galaxy and the Magellanic clouds, other small galaxies in the uh, visible in the southern hemisphere that are not part of our Milky Way. But every star that you see there is actually a part of our Milky Way galaxy. And the star clouds are some of the brighter areas around here. And the dark dust clouds don't note the absence of material, but the presence of excess dust which blocks out the light from behind. So we can see uh, all of this in our Milky Way as we look at it from the interior. So we are inside the Milky Way looking out. Uh, part way out towards the edge so further or further closer to the edge than to the center and as we look out in this direction we happen to see all of these different star clouds and were there no dust we would see this incredibly bright the Milky Way would be extremely bright it was packed with stars however because of that dust that blocks out so much light we can't see through it now the dust is not dense by any sense that we think of here on Earth. It is very spread out, but it is spread out over light years worth of space so that our line of sight always strikes a dust grain and doesn't allow us to see through much as the way in a forest you see no matter where you look if you're in deep in a forest no matter where you look your line of sight reaches a tree and blocks your view. And as you get closer to the edge or toward a clearing in the forest, then you start to be able to get gaps and are able to see through it. But it's a very similar type thing here. No matter where we look in certain areas, we always see a small dust grain and those built up over many light years worth of space will then block out light from even billions of stars within our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for May 16th of 2022. It was titled Milky Way over French Alp hoodoos. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be shell uh, shells of stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.